if I must say so myself, the Urban Bourbon Trail has grown tremendously since we last filmed it a while back. And look where we are now. Chaz, isn't it amazing? It's just ever expanding. You know, this is really, whether you're a bourbon beginner or a bourbon aficionado, the Urban Bourbon Trail just really provides you a cheat sheet of the best of the best. You know, in any other city, in any other market, having 10, 20 bourbons on your menu would qualify you as a bourbon bar. In Louisville, we set the bar at 50. And then you've got to have bourbon cocktails so you've got to Food. use bourbon on the menu, like Village Anchor is so beautifully done, which we'll talk about. Um, but it's just, uh, it's ever-changing, ever-expanding. For more information on these stops that are currently on it when you're in town, you got to go to bourboncountry.com for a list. You can download a free iPhone app, Urban Bourbon Trail, Absolutely. and it'll help you. Um, but uh, it's just a, a guide to the city's bourbon experience and culture. Now let's talk about where we are. We're at the Village Anchor, and the great thing about it is not only did we, we, we come here to eat, but we also went downstairs at the Sea Hag, and they actually have a great bar, sports bar, hangout place. And you went down there and hung out with some friends and got to experience, you know, they have bourbon, they got cigars outside, and it's a cool experience. And every Thursday night they have a bourbon special. They do tastings with a bourbon brand and typically free cigars out on their patio, on the side. Um, what a great time for that. Um, but any other night you can get their full bourbon list. And it's kind of a, a two for one, really. The Sea Hag is kind of a. a, a on the same building, but a separate bar. We're upstairs in Village Anchor, in front of this wonderful fireplace, great ambiance upstairs. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we had for dinner. Yeah. We had three appetizers tonight. We had the deviled eggs. There were three different kinds. Oh, they were very good. Uh, one with a sun-dried tomato, one with mushrooms and a truffle oil, and then my favorite, a blue cheese uh, stuffed deviled egg with bacon. That was really good. We also had something really unique. I've never seen this on a menu as an appetizer with a fried bologna quarter. Oh, that was, I don't eat bologna, but you know that. I, I do, you know, I, I love it. On that one, right? Yeah, that, that, that was, was great. That it was, was really good. Wheat berry bread with cheese, oh, awesome. cut into quarters. For dinner, you had? I had the grilled salmon, which was awesome. It came with the asparagus, and it came with the rice. And then you had? I had the fried chicken. It's his mother's recipe. And we shared a little Myra. bit. It was really wonderful good. with a country gravy. I got a side of spinach, and then I had some of our pork chop that was marinated in a uh, apricot bourbon glaze uh, over jalapeno sauerkraut and a corn thing that came in a little separate cast iron skillet. And Wonderful. then yes, 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 we had to have some dessert as we always. Did. This is the remnants of our carrot yeah. cake that was wonderful and then we had to have their signature dessert the owner's mother's Which recipe. She's sitting literally right she behind us. right there. And the mother and the grandmother. Yes, um, and it's a hot banana pudding with a mile high meringue. It was just out of this world. I mean, the, the whole experience of where the Urban Bourbon Trail's going and what people can do and infuse it with food and desserts and the experience of what bourbon's about. I've learned so much being a native Kentuckian. I've learned so much through this process about bourbon that I'm, I'm like, wow, I'm so proud because it's what you said 200 years of bourbon and it's 95 percent of the world's bourbon comes from our state that's right there's a you know this is the bourbon renaissance uh, there are a lot really of is. new companies coming around that are doing micro distilleries making a very small percentage so they're not sort of cutting it some of them are kentucky some of them are elsewhere in america they're not cutting into that 95 percent uh percentage yet um, this is truly bourbon country and Louisville is your gateway to it you've got to come here if you're a bourbon fan so for more information about bourbon or about this episode please go to go to louisville.com of course you can always send us an email podcast to go to louisville.com and you can also find us in facebook youtube and in twitter so as always you are looking at louisville and i'll see you real soon